Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss, usually, medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and other related topics in the board gaming hobby stuff. Today, however, a little bit different. We're going to do some thinky fillers. We thought it'd be fun. It's World Elephant Day, so let's celebrate the elephant. So, Paris Connection. Uh, some of y'all might know it as SNCF. Designed by David V.H. Peters, originally published by Winsome Games. Now the version that we're going to be playing, which is the available version, is published by Queen Games. As you all know, I'm your host, I'm Edward, joined by wife and beautiful co-host Amanda. Hello. We have Matt, Hello. veteran of the show, and I guess technically veteran yeah. now, Dustin, <laughs> now that it's your second stream, right. so welcome. Um, yeah, there's just not a lot as far as rules here, so this is going to be pretty quick and a relatively short game. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. We, it's one of our thinky, uh, one of our favorite thinky fillers. Mm -hmm. Um, we just forgot it in our top six. So, Oops. yeah, my bad. So let's go ahead and let's start running through it. So, this is SNCF, and that's Davis again, World Elephant Day. We figured we'd use him for the first player marker. So... The game is all about uh, having the most valuable portfolio. So there is this bag of trains that you guys hear here. We have it set up to where randomly put out one of each of the six companies or the six colors. And then we have one of uh, each here for the income track. At the beginning of the game, we're because we're four players, we're all going to randomly draw eight of the locomotives out of that bag. And those are going to be our starting shares. So it's random what you start with. At that point, whoever is the first player marker, what we're going to be doing is after we have dumped out all those trains and put them on their respective company charters, every player has two choices on their turn. They can either lay track out here into these hexes. You're allowed to lay one to five track of one company. So for instance, if I decide to throw out a bunch of blacks, I can put five of them out here. The rules for placement, only one company, one train can be in each of these cities out here. However, there can be a maximum of two in the rural hexes so that yellow and black could both be in this hex, for instance. So one to five track, you increase the income if you hit any of these cities. The value of the cities is going to be listed right here on our little uh, screens or player aids. So I have one screen that's up right here. And then depending on the color of the city that you place in, that's going to be the value of the company for all those cities. And it's going to be a running total. These will never go down. They will only increase. And the other option, so lay one to five track, the other option is to exchange shares. So if, for instance, let me show you all. If these are my shares that I have, obviously I would start with eight. If those are my shares and black is worth a lot, I can turn in one share of a different color to be able to get two, one or two more of a different color. So you're basically adding and exchanging a share. So lay one to five track, exchange a share for up to two shares of one other company. That's it. That's the whole thing. The game ends one of two ways. When five of the six companies, all their track has been laid as well as it's behind all of our uh, uh, tableaus, behind our player screens for shares. So once five of these are empty or one of the companies makes it to Marseille. At that point, the game ends immediately and then we count up the value of our portfolios. Whoever has that most expensive portfolio wins. One other little catch. These numbers that you guys see out here on the sides of the player screens. We're playing in a four player game. You're allowed a total of 15 shares. If you have 16 shares or more at the end of the game, you don't automatically lose but you kind of do because you're, it's going to be so punitive. And I'll be honest, I've never seen it happen. I actually have to look that up. If you have more than that number, you subtract 20 victory points, which you, you're, you lose the game. All right. So that's it. That's, that's Paris Connection slash SNCF. 
So that's it. So if we will, um, let's see here. We'll go ahead and do this. That's Amanda. That's me. That's Matt. That's Dustin. I'm first. All right. So I will draw. I'll fix that in a minute. So what's going to happen is I'm going to, and hopefully nobody is going to cheat and look at my screen. So there I'm drawing these amount. So let's see, what is that? There's six, seven, and eight. That you draw. So these are my starting shares. Okay, so there's my eight. Cool. There we go. So after everybody has gotten their eight shares to begin with, then we have to dump everything out on the board, sort them onto these six boards out here. That's my, it. My favorite part. Right? <laughs> For the, you OCD folk huh? out there. So Davis comes home. He's going to hang out with me. Cool. How y'all doing this morning? You're too many. Let me draw it again. Yeah. <laughs> And also, uh, if you guys haven't gotten the hint or heard on social media, we're going to be live streaming the climbers uh, later on after this. It's going to be a separate stream, and we don't have one already set up. So make sure that you subscribe down underneath with the little bell there. It'll alert you, and it's going to be about 15 to 20 minutes after we finish this live stream that we'll go ahead and get the other one started. So just a heads up. Cool? I'm excited about both these. Showing off two of our favorites. And the Climbers is the one game that I truly believe belongs in every gamer's collection. The one. You know what? Actually, Davis is going to hang out here so Amanda can't look over and see my portfolio. This is my first time playing, so I just have one question. Sure, on, on yeah, yeah. Rules. Ask away. When we were building, do we have, let's say that we were going to, let's say we had five, for example. Uh -huh. Could I go one, two, three, four, five, or do I have to stop? No, no, you can build yeah. up to five. Okay. The all, And there is one other thing. You can't block off a company from starting. So, for instance, if right. black were to go here, 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 and brown were to go here, 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 and to where purple can't get out because there's already two trains, you're not allowed to do that. That's the only real, oh. And there are some of these which are really hard for you guys to see up there. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can zoom in and not cut off the board. There you go. Down here in this corner right here, this little barber pole area is a blocked off area right there and right here. So you're not allowed to build through those. You have to build around those. There we go. Cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and sort these into their little component areas. This is actually, arguably, some people say this takes longer than the actual game. And I know this is Brand our buddy Brandon from Brawling Brothers. This is his favorite game of all time. Uh, him and his treeples. Train meeples. Treeples. Again, remember the limit is 15 shares and everybody starts with eight. All right. No, uh, the Climbers is not a dexterity game, Beverly. Uh, you'll have to wait till the next stream to see it. It's a brain dexterity game. Yeah, seriously, it really is. Oh, hey, Dave. He said, Joel came back from the mountains early, so my dog sitting tour ended early. Ah, all right. Got it. Oh, oh, Magner, I, I have probably, I think that is my most played game of all time, is the Climbers. But you seem to think that it's going to be, you know, some kind of high-level super strategy stuff. Um, that's depends, not depends on who you're playing case, with. Right? That, I assume, is going to be Ben. Oh, it's Mark. Oh, hey. And more people. All right. Hi, guys. Hey. So, all right. So, if you want, um, we only have one extra chair in here. You all can hang. Would you like to join? Play six. That's right. No, we'll... You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Right. Right. So, Mark from Board Game Corner. Oh, uh, actually, step to your right. They can't see you. There you go. There we go. Hey. <laughs> Hi, guys. 
Hi. 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 So, um, yeah, so they're going to hang out with us. Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. So, Can you put those out, please? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Black. Right. Here. Come on. What are we uh, this is a. Uh, you've never played Paris Connection? Oh, I have. Okay. okay. I just, right. it's, it's, it's Brandon it was... from Brawling Brothers' all time favorite game. Yeah, all time. <laughs> he hates this game. He calls it 52 <laughs> Train Pickup. All right, so uh, there we go. So those are the available shares as well as track. So let's go ahead and get to it. So looking at, and by looking at, I mean you and I, y'all. My starting share is looking at that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and, well, let's go and get five purple out there. So we got one, two. That's going to go up one for purple total for hitting that city. Uh, <laughs> there. Purple's now with worth two a share. It's All right. that purple one in the middle. Oh, and I missed one. And it's worth three a share. There we go. Cool. All right. Matt, you're up. And it's just clockwise around the table after that. Yep. I figured you guys weren't going to come until later, and so, like, well, I didn't have mics for y'all or anything <laughs> yet. I mean, so, That's all right. sorry about that, guys. We, uh, we just got away a little quicker than we thought we would. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, good. I'm excited to yeah. have you down here Definitely. for the climbers. Absolutely. Um, give me five of the reds. Yeah. Hands don't want to work. Go. Um... Two, three, four. All right, so that's going to be a white, a white, and a purple. And so you guys can see two whites and a purple is going to be a total value of four. So four for that's yeah, purple for a red. For red. There, there we, we go. go. Done. All right, Dustin, you're up. Okay, I'll take five shares of yellow. I support this just on principle that it's yellow. <laughs> Three, four, and five, sir. Go for it. Lori Gum says hi. So say hi, guys. Hey. Although they're not mic'd up, so they're going to be quiet. Yes. I apologize. But uh, cool. Got the peanut gallery joining us uh, from around the world. We got uh, some here in the States, some over in Europe. So very cool. So what do we got for yellow? We got one, two, and three. Cool. Amanda, you're up. Um, I will take five of yellow as well, please. All right. Remember, you can either exchange one share for two shares of another uh, company from within or behind your portfolio. Is what you want me to help you out here? Um, I don't think so. Okay. So there's one for yellow. That's two for yellow. That's three for yellow. And you don't have to do five, remember. It's one to five. Can you, can you put it? Um, what side of the barber pole here? Um, north side, north, south side? North, please. North side. All right, so that makes my decision really, really easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this share, which is brown, throw that back to the supply, and I will take two yellow. That's my turn. So now we're looking at, there we go, and now we've gone from eight to nine shares. Okay, Matt, you're up. And remember, the game ends. When somebody reaches Marseille, or five of the company charters are empty. Um, I'm going to take a brown, put it over there, and give me two red. Yes, sir. Dustin, you're up. I'll uh, put it back a black and take two yellow. Squirrel. Thank you. Hmm. And it's always up to two shares because there, there will come a point to where maybe there's a, only one of a share, but you really want it. So it's a one-to-one -one exchange just because it's going to be more valuable. Hey, Tony. How's it going? It's a little warm here. Whenever we do streams during the day, it's always warmer because the sun's beating down on the, uh, on the east side of the, uh, <laughs> of the window of the house. But it's all good. We have... Um I'm going to turn in this black for uh, two purple. Two purple. Mm, all right. All right. Um, so looking at this, 
I will go ahead and hmm. I will I'm going to exchange this blue for two yellow. Done. Remember, 15 shares per, per person, max. Yep. I don't want somebody to do what I've never seen before and have too many shares and <clears throat> basically be out of the game. So, Trade in this black for two yellow. Hey, look, nobody has any black. <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> you wow. can always tell that there is not a single black. Hmm. Interesting. Which is really, really interesting, seeing as it's on the closer side to Marseille. That's that's pretty different. Okay, Dustin? I think I'll change uh, brown for two yellow. All right. There's a run on the yellow company. Can I get five purple, please? Thank you. Yep. Oh, nice, Marlon. Says he was doing a solo play of Viticulture on Tabletopia. No break to watch. Done. So How many did it increase? It went up one, two. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay out five black. So remember, it cannot share... It can share rural hexes. It cannot share... Uh, uh, city hexes. So that's that's just one for black. They're on the board. Okay. Matt? Um, give me five red. So have you all at home, have you all played this? Either this or SNCF? Which, this is just a prettier version of it. So that's going to go up a total of four because that's four. two whites and a purple. That's purple, though. It needs to be the red. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you just said the word purple. Right, I know, right? <laughs> I have it the last time I hit a purple, too. Right, I, well, I'm consistent. That's all I'm striving for is consistency. That's it. Good okay. job. <laughs> so the arrows on the uh, on the floor, did that help it tell did. you where the studio was <laughs> in the house? Okay, good. All right. So they came late, obviously, and so, Dustin, don't... I'll, I'll take five uh, yellow. Five yellow. All right. Um, so I, I put a sign on the door saying, hey, come on in and join us live stream. And then I taped a couple of arrows on the ground so they knew where to go. Three, four, and five. Ooh, the first the first red city breast. All right. So f uh, that is a three value for yellow. Look, see, I'm learning. One, two, three. Cool. Amanda? <laughs> Can I get five purple, please? This could be potentially a very quick game. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Is that that's red? So Leon, that's three. That's four. That's five. So purple went up five value oh. to ten. Um, excuse me while I exchange a blue for two purple. Excuse me while I do this. <laughs> I'll just take the whole company. Right, take seriously, it take the charter and everything. Make that three if y'all do that, you're taking away the purple city. Oh, well, that's true. But I'll do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> so thank you, Amanda. So here, so there's a perfect uh, example of how that can really hurt is the fact that now that's it. You know, she just gained the company five value for all of us. Mm -hmm. Whereas we both increased our portfolios for 10 because we got rid of blue, which is worth zero for 10 for purple. So thank you, team Don't player. Don't touch me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. That's a good reason to miss the stream, Fabio. Always, always encouraged in that case. Congratulations. What? Uh, his wife beat him at oh, the friend. Wow. So, very nice. nice. Very cool. I wouldn't know what that's like. Because I don't understand that name. Oh. Zendier is like, I'm disappointed. I expect strangely pronounced French city names. I did enough.
to Europe yesterday <laughs> trying to butcher the, the German cities. Yes. I figure I would take it easy on France today. Sorry. There's, there's a joke there somewhere. Taking it easy on France? After, two. after bashing Germany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so... You know what? I'm going to lay... F okay, so here is my current portfolio. So we have that many shares of that color. So I am going to go ahead and exchange that blue for the last two yellow. Now, two of the companies are empty. That doesn't mean they stay that way because people can always exchange some of those shares for it. You want some water, guys? You guys okay? Um, you're good. good. You're good? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. That was your turn. Yeah, that was my turn. So, Matt, you're up. Um, give me five red. Give me Diagonal War, but that's okay. Come around this one. There we go. Give me died in the War? Is that yeah, what you said? The old saying that my dad used to say. Oh, okay. So that's plus three. That's plus four. Yeah, we'll just do four. Okay, just four for red. All right. I'll take five black. I assume you're coming. Well, you can reach. Circumventing the cities. Yeah. Just go ahead and put oh, them straight keep, down. Keep going that. down. Yeah. Right, heading down to Marseille. Yeah. That's what I was considering doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's put it out there. Though. Oh, this one. Sorry. Yeah. Keep it away from <laughs> any value. Okay. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> it's six away from Marseille for right. those counting at home right now. So it can't end immediately on one person's turn, but it can get it's close. close. All right. I'm going to turn in this red for two. Two black? Two black, please. For two black. You sure? Okay. All right. What is the, how much is Marseille worth? Mar four, Marseille's four worth four. four. I get that. Okay. No worries. No worries. Just I wanted to make sure I heard you mm -hmm. right. I'm not judging. Yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. Um... So at this point... Yeah, okay, fine. Mulligan. So, okay, what just happened? I I put... I got... I put the... I changed the red to purp, to a brown. So I took my red back and put the purp, uh, brown one out there. So you got rid of brown she, to get two black. Two blinds, right. Gotcha. Okay. I think it was shady. Hmm. Uh, all right. So I'm on here. camera. <laughs> I've seen her sleight of hand is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to actually turn in here one of these. So yellow is back in the game. It is available. Ooh. But if I do that, it makes Lorient, there you go, uh, available. Um, so instead, actually, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm going to take two red. Done. Checking the brown for two red. Dustin? One purple for two red. No, you can reach. Go for it. Squirrel? I'll take that one purple and put it in Geneve. Geneve? Geneve. Yes. All right, so that is two for purple. Truly. Here we go. A purple for purple. Right. Um, hmm. You know what? I'll go ahead and lay out five black. One, two, three, four, five. The game can end literally on anybody's turn now. I figure I'd, you know, make them sweat a little bit. But <laughs> I actually like my position, so I don't mind if it were to end. I think I'm doing well. I think. One brown, one yellow. Okay. That that was a uh, eight dollar increase. That was that was good trading. Good day trading, sir. <laughs> Dustin. Trade one. No. <laughs> False start. One, one, one black. Yeah, one black. Okay, you are gonna end it. Yeah. All right. Boom. So Marseille 
is going to be four. So that actually bumps that up to five. So that ends the game. So at this point, actually what I will do here is I will zoom. I'm going to take down all the cameras in the chat for a minute. And so you guys, so we will, so you can see everybody's portfolios. So there we go. Okay. All right. So now at this point, all it is, is simple math. So, I mean, blues, does anybody have any blue? Okay. So we don't need to worry about blue. We can take that off. Cool. Then, uh, browns are worth two. Blacks are worth five. Yellow is worth nine. And the others are worth 12. And hopefully you can do your own math. <laughs> so there you go. I can. Uh, okay, so I actually, have my phone. So you guys can, yeah. <laughs> so never mind. Well, because you guys can't see real well on that. I'll bring everything back up. And I'll let you guys follow along with my math. All right. So here we go. So for mine, we're looking at these. And these are 12 a piece. And these are 9 a piece. So, yeah, I'm going to cheat. Yeah, I would. Absolutely. That's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do we got? We got... So that's for these guys here. And then for these, we'll call it 10 a piece. So plus 50, minus 5. So that's 45. Done. That's my total. No, oh, wait. I messed up. All right. So everybody gets... Their, their phone's out. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I didn't bring my phone, but I had 126. 126. So there you go. So uh, I win. Again, hashtag bad teacher. 141 to Matt's 135 to Dustin's 126. 126. And Amanda, thank you for playing. Hashtag bad player. <laughs> yes. All right. So that's SNCF. It's that simple. It really is. So... Um, Thinky filler. Yeah. Now there is, and you notice the reason I won, uh, at least in my opinion, is the fact that I was able to let you guys do my building for me and let me just keep exchanging. That's what you normally do in this game. And yeah, I would think you guys would figure that out. Yeah. Now, um, uh, yeah. Well, the ending it sooner hurt me. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. I had I had a couple of more. I was gonna I was gonna trade a couple of yellows for some reds and. Yep. Yeah. Right. So I consider doing that. I consider doing that, but. I liked it. it you know, it's, it's, it's your first, first game, right? First, okay. first time, finished third. You know, but, not, but <laughs> respectable. <at least. laughs> so, how'd you like it? I liked it a lot. Yeah, I think uh, you know, for the price, especially, I think it's it's a great value. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, Amanda. Yes. If you guys go to heavycardboard.com forward slash Paris, we are giving away a copy of Paris Connection as well as the SNCF Transcontinental Map by a Mr. Anthony Fryer. So, only way to get it is through our giveaways. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's it. So this was, a, it's actually numbered and signed by me, Amanda, and Tony, if that matters. But it's number 46 of 50. Um, this was given away at... Uh, no, that's Matt's. They're the un oh, the, is it? The Sorry, un you're right. unsigned. They're unsigned. I apologize. I'm sorry. Whoa. Or maybe you're welcome. Hmm. Um, <laughs> so Tony actually got permission to design that for HeavyCon two years ago from Winsome Games and Queen Games mm -hmm. and for us to do giveaways. So yeah, check, what's the address again? HeavyCardboard.com forward slash Paris. There you and go. it'll be open for one week's time. We will close it next Saturday. Oh, well, I will close it because he will be at Gen Con. I will close it next Saturday mm -hmm. at noon Mountain Daylight Time, which would be 6 UTC. I'm sorry, 1800 UTC. There you go. Cool. That's it. All right. So if you guys are here and you're curious about the climbers, hang out with us. Um, we're actually going to stop the stream, but what we're going to do is here in about 20 minutes, give or take a couple minutes, make sure you subscribe down below as well as hit that little bell that will alert you whenever we start a live stream or just go to youtube.com forward slash heavy cardboard vids and it'll see, hey, they're live when we're live um, and we'll do the climbers with, well, present company and Mark Street. <laughs> All right. So cool. Thanks, everybody. Um, and also thanks to our 313 patrons out there. Really appreciate it. If you guys want to support the show, we would definitely appreciate that. Patreon.com forward slash heavy cardboard. Otherwise, we'll see you all shortly. Thanks. Bye. See you later, y'all.